Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today I'm going to do another one on this T-Mobile home internet, uh, Arcadian KVD gateway, and how you can change the settings. I made it much easier this time. You know, I have a couple other videos out there uh, about how you can do this, and it does require you to go in there into your command uh, lines or PowerShell, and a lot of you guys didn't want to tackle that. So luckily, with the help of one of the uh, viewers uh, out there, uh, we have now made a script that is much easier for um, the average user to use because now it's a um, it's a GUI, you know, which is a graphical user interface that you can go in there and um, much easier uh, to handle for people not too computer savvy. So I'm going to show you how you can get that yourself and use it. And um, there are some other videos that I have out there uh, specifically for getting the cell metrics from this guy with the web interface you can check those out on my channel uh, I have a whole T-Mobile uh, playlist that you can go through but let's go in there and I'll show you how to do this there are a couple steps you have to do as far as downloading or copying and pasting the text and putting in a text file but let me walk you through that and then um, you guys can see how to do this we're not charging anything for this you know this is a free uh, free tool for you guys it does take time and effort to make these so um, the way you can pay back is liking the video subscribing to the channel um, put any comments that you have down below and then of course I love it when uh, viewers uh, interact and especially uh, the one this time that helped out with uh, creating a script that's easier for you guys I am not the uh, the best uh, at coding myself and so uh, really I needed the help of others to, to do this. So uh, let's get right into it and uh, get going. Okay, so these instructions are for Windows only. Uh, and this is using the PowerShell um, to actually run, but against a script. So all you have to do is a couple um, clicks and you should be good to go. If you have Linux or Mac OS, you know, and you know anything about it, the syntax is slightly different. You can modify the code yourself, but um, I, I kind of covered that in the last video for some uh, scripts for Linux and Mac OS. So what you will do is down in the video description of this video is a link to Pastebin. And so that is this link here and it'll bring you to this page. Now to get to the video description on mobile, you, know, you have to click the down arrow, but it really doesn't do you a lot of good because you need to be on a Windows computer. So anyways, once you get to here, uh, the easiest thing to do is to go to this download button. You could also select and copy and paste this stuff, but uh, the download is the easiest. If you click download, it will go to your download folder. For me, I like to put it in a specific location. And so I right click on the download and click save link as. So that mine shows up uh, here in this test folder that I have set up. You can, you can download it uh, anywhere you want on your computer and it'll be fine. Now if you open it up you'll see that this text matches what's on the paste bin and again you don't have to do anything with this text if you don't want to. So uh, what you do have to do is you click on the file name because we want to change the extension. So once you click on it once you wait a second you click on it again and then you should be able to go in here and modify the extension. So you take away the .txt and replace it with .ps1. And that stands for a, a PowerShell script. Now when you do that, it says, hey, do you really want to do that? Because this changes the file type. And the answer is yes, you do. And now it is a, um, it's a script, basically. And you can run it now by right-clicking it and click Run with PowerShell. If you double-click on Open, it will most likely open it in like Notepad and um, that won't do anything for you. So you need to right click on it, click run with PowerShell. And now it's gonna tell you, hey, this Nader Tater Fool is not a known publisher. Do you really want to run a script from him? And that's up to you to decide. For me, I say yes, and I open it anyways, even though I don't know this guy. And now, unfortunately, it opens on my other screen over here. So let me pull it up. So this is the a window that opens when you right click and do run um, on PowerShell and it gives you these options so you can enter uh, one for example and that will turn off your Wi-Fi so one and then enter 
and it has for your password. Now your password is on the back sticker, right, of your your gateway, and it's going to be the one that, not the Wi-Fi password, but instead the admin password, which is that bottom uh, password that's on the gateway. Now you can also change it. You can change it in the in the app, actually the T-Mobile Home Internet app. You can go in there and change it, which, um, which I have done. And so regardless, whatever your password is, um, you type that in here. So for mine, it is now natertaterchannel.com because I like shameless plugs. And I hit enter. And now it says, hey, I'm turning off the Wi-Fi. And then it said returning back to the menu. If you see red text there, that means an error happened. You do need to have your computer actively hooked up to the gateway to work. But uh, if you don't see any, any red text pop up there for a minute, then you're, you're good. And if you noticed the same uh, folder that your script file is at, it created a new one called a config.txt. So let me open that up and show you. This is basically the configurations of this gateway. And this is a way to kind of verify that the change happened other than looking and seeing if the Wi-Fi shows up anymore. So in here I can see is radio enabled and the answer is false for the 2.4 gigahertz as well as uh, in here on the 5 gigahertz. Both of those are now false and that means that the Wi-Fi is not on. You can also see some of this other stuff in here as well like my Wi-Fi password key which is like and subscribe. All right, um, so now you can do the same thing for uh, turning the Wi-Fi back on. And the other thing is to reboot the gateway. So this is something you can do in the app, but I really hate the app personally. So the you can also hit the three, and you know, and then hit enter. And it does ask for the the password again. And now it's going to reboot the gateway. And now on the gateway over here. It, uh, it takes it a second to actually do that reboot process. You'll have to watch it uh, for a while um, for it to actually reboot. You know, it, it seems like it takes a really long time, um, but eventually you'll see the T logo come back up on here and then you know that it's rebooting. So this is now a script that you could run and there it goes, you can see the T logo now. So it, it will start its rebooting process all right, so I think in an upcoming video, I will show you how um, you can do this rebooting as an individual script that you could send, and you can actually do a task scheduler to have it um, automatically send this reboot command um, automatically. If you want to like restart it, say, every morning at 3 a.m. or something, you could do that. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and it helps you out. As always, um, you know, the best way for me to grow and continue as a channel and do these kind of fun activities is for viewers like you to like, subscribe, share, comment any um, stuff below, and, uh, and then we'll keep going every week. Thanks.